Okay, using Amazon ECS and how to run a task in a cluster. So I have created a task definition here, NFS Moodle revision tree, and I have fixed this task definition so that privilege is true. This is required for the uh, NFS server Alpine Docker container. And I want to run this uh, task using my cluster and cluster is NFS test. But I need to make sure that the volume here is persisted using Amazon EBS. So I will create a new volume here. I'll create a new volume. Uh, this will be just a very small volume. And uh, this must be the same AZ as the EC2 instance. So I'll we'll name this NFS test. Okay, I'll create the volume here. And now, because uh, Okay, let's check it out. It should okay, it's up. And because the instance is this one, so I want to attach this volume to that instance. Okay. And after I do that, I will connect to the instance I'll go to this instance and I SSH to this I do this because I want to mount that volume here in the instance. Okay, so what I have to do is that I want to mount from def xfd xvdf to the mount path that is described in the task definition. Uh, I need to create this first. Okay, and then I can mount. But I think the first time because I just created the EBS, uh, it has no file system yet. So what should I do is that I should uh, format the file system of the EBS first, okay. So the recommended file system for the Amazon Linux is XFS. Okay, so you can see here that the AWS documentation uh, recommends us to use uh, XFS file system. So let's try this. First, we can test it first. Okay, so there is no uh, file system here. So it's just a uh, and just here. But uh, if there is a file system, it should say there is a file system data here. So let me create a file system there. Okay, so now we have file system, and then now I can mount. Okay, 
it's done. So because this file system has been created, now I can run this task in my cluster. So what I do is I run task using EC2 and I use the cluster NFS test and I run this task. So when running the task, I can check the status of this task. Status is currently pending, and I can check the logs. Okay, so as you can see, it seems that everything went well. Okay, so now what I will do is that I will test this uh, configuration whether it's uh, I can connect to the NFS server from another EC2 instance. But first, uh, let me create some data just to ensure that everything is going well. So, okay. Okay, so I have this file hello.txt. So let me prepare another instance. Okay. Make sure that this other instance is has a security group that uh, is allowed access to that uh, NFS, right? So in this case, our NFS test as a security group of NFS Moodle and as you can see here the NFS Moodle has allowed access uh, port 2049 from SG07 blah 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 and the other instance as a security group of uh, this one, which is SG07. Blah, blah, blah. So, this instance, ECS instance, EC2 container service Moodle, has access to the NSF, NFS server. Okay, so I want to connect to the server. Okay, so this is the NFS server and this is the other uh, EC2 instance that I want to use to connect to NFS test. Okay, so first, uh, it is very recommended if you are using uh, NFS to install chess files D so that, uh, so that files from the remote NFS file system will be cached in the local instance. So I install this using yum and then I restart and I make sure that the cache files D is uh, enabled at boot. Okay, so in this case is already installed. So what we need to install is also NFS utils. So this is required to mount the NFS file system from uh, Linux. Okay, so now when mounting, we will need to prepare a folder. I will make this NFS test. Okay, and then now I can actually mount this one. I'll make this a uh, little bit wider. FS4, option is an FS first, 4.1, width size 1 megabyte, write size is 1 megabyte 2, hard 
time out 600 it runs two and then this FSC is for the uh, cache and I need the address of the NFS server Okay, and then I mount this in an NFS test. If it works fine, then there should be no error and the command finishes immediately. So let's see if I have uh, this files. Okay. okay, as you can see, it can show the files from the NFS server correctly. So just to prove it, it's still the same and if I create a new file here so let's see another hello now again text you can see it's there and if I see here in the NFS server it's also uh, finished the file is also shown up in the original NFS server and now this NFS server can be used from many instances. So basically you are creating your own Amazon EFS, Elastic uh, File Service. But this one is not very elastic. Uh, if you want to auto-scale it, then you will need to auto-scale it yourself. Yeah. So and that's it. You can create an ECS cluster and you can Create the task definition. And the task definition runs an NFS server that persists the data using Amazon EBS. Thank you.